All right, it's been a while since I've done an update on the build. And as you'll notice, it's not in a backyard anymore. And there's a reason for that. There was just so many errors, so many things we weren't happy with. As you can see, the prep, boat building is all about preparation. Glassing the glass, not glassing onto paint. You know, the amount of air bubbles, the amount of rush work, the amount of errors, like this is supposed to be on that side. My fuel is supposed to be on the other side. Hang on, I've got up the trailer. Brand new trailer we got, sitting over here, run out of rego. So it cost us 12 grand to get to this level, this stage. As you can see, the floor's not even glass down. As I said before, the prep work was horrible. I had my fuel breathers going below the, the level of the tank, going through the, the stringers, up through the bulkhead. I think I paid like $1,200 for that bulkhead. That's just sitting there doing nothing. Show you this bulkhead. There's extra holes in our strength here that were uh, drilled and not being used now. No planning. Our fuel breathers, they gotta go that way. And then I got my fuel filler there. So I don't know how that was gonna work. Sorry it's taken so long to um, give you guys an update, but for so long, nothing has been happening. Which is quite disappointing because we had big plans and those plans kind of got smashed. But as you can see, it's a brand new transom here. Yeah? Horrible. So you're sitting beside my anchor winch. There's our console. Like, seriously? Tell me what you think. Would you be happy if you paid $12,000 to have your boat looking like this? Where are we at, Craig? What's going on? What have you changed since we got it off us? What with the fuel tanks? Rejigged all the fuel tanks to run the fuel lines properly, not going in through all the uh, flotation. We've got sealed voids right through the boat this time. So that floor has been extended out to here to those green things there. So that'll be our, our bed, so to speak, if we need one. Up there we've got another fuel tank. A dance floor. A dance floor? <laughs> A stripper pole? <laughs> we've got another fuel tank going in here. 90 litres, 150 litres, down here. Yeah. This fucking doesn't want to go away, this fucking bubble. Just push from there, the middle out. That one might have to go the other way, yeah, that way. Pub? Okay. Using that? What's going on? I'm trying to get it before it goes off in the heat. This should have been done. 
ages ago. All this stuff down here, you can see the bubbles. Just everywhere. Piss for preparation prevents. Well, it fucking doesn't prevent anything, does it? Piss poor preparation fucking provides this shit. <laughs> Alright, so we got the fuel breathers, fuel fillers going up here now. That'll be all, all underneath the deck. So that was never going to work. Then we got Mark down here. This is where you're grinding out all the dodgy stuff from before. All those circles. Yeah, that's all glass. Everything's sealed up. We got rid of all the expansion foam that was holding the tank in originally. Bulkhead glassed in. Oh, yeah. Roughly, Roughly glassed in. Okay. So that's going to hold the winch? That's correct, bud. The anchor winch goes on the back of that, correct? Yeah. Yep. See, the thing is, all these extra, all these extra holes, like through the stringers that, and the bulkhead that I just showed you, that's all like lost strength. Well, I reckon you have a cold shower because and then you have a cold shower. No, you have a cold shower first because it gets rid of it while your pores are closed. If you have a hot shower, your pores open up and That's then it goes point. into your pores. You have a cold shower first. You're welcome. 